I'm not sure. Here's uh, Charlie Kirk. This is a guy, he has a lot of integrity. <laughs> um, first of all, he's on the Sean Spicer show, which in and of itself is, I think, disqualifying. The fact that the, the if, fact that Sean Spicer has his own show now, the Spice Factory. What is it called? The Spice Rack. The Spice Rack? No, I was going to say. Like, Spicer and Co. Spicer and Co. Sounds like a grocery store. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like in like uh, like the airport mall. Um, well, let's play the opening later. Let's do this Charlie. Uh, let's do this Charlie Kirk first. So Charlie Kirk is on the Spicer Rack and Company on um, Spicer and Co. And um, here he is talking about Donald Trump. This is a man with deep, deep integrity. I, I first it's for Trump supporters that are under constant barrage and assault when they're told that President Trump has no substance. President Trump has no depth. President Trump has no idea what he's doing. This is for them to be able to defend the thousands of years of philosophical history behind the Trump presidency and behind Western civilization, which President Trump is currently the guardian of Western civilization. Secondly, it's for people in the middle, people that might like President Trump and what he's doing. They've seen their lives improve, lowest ever black unemployment, Asian unemployment, disabled unemployment, female unemployment, but they're not really sure how to articulate it, and they might not be able to make sense of everything they see that's positively happening. And then finally, it's written for people that hate him to the core. <laughs> because No, because seriously, I, I'm sure that some of the best-selling you know, sales we're seeing are the hate sales, and it still counts as a sale, so that's fine. You know, I hope you guys bulk order. Um, because I, I believe that any person who hates the president after read this book, it's impossible to read the book and still think that he's a poor president. Ooh. You might think, I hate his style, I hate all this. That's opinion. We deal in facts in this book, and America's in a better place. Thanks. We only deal with facts, says Charlie Kirk, and that uh, Donald Trump is the savior of Western civilization. Here is a fact that Charlie Kirk uh, tweeted out just a couple weeks ago. Fact, Bernie wants a $15 minimum wage. That is a fact. Then he goes on to say that would mean a gross salary of $31,200 for a 40-hour work week. I believe that math That's also true. Right? But he wants to tax anyone making above $29,000 a year, 52%. How many Pinocchios is that? That is about as many Pinocchios as you can get. Now, maybe Charlie doesn't understand the, con the concept of progressive taxation. He, he mistakenly put the, keep you that up for a second. Um, Okay. Yes. Our Reddit user has so twenty nine thousand is where you are responsible for no taxes whatsoever. Um, Fifty two percent tax rate. So if you put if you make less than twenty nine thousand dollars, you will you're you're completely um, uh, exempt from from the taxation. So if you are not working 40 hours a week, there's a lot of people who can't find a full-time job. 52% is your marginal tax rate for every dollar above $10 million. How many dollars over $10 million do people earning $29,000 a year make? I believe yeah. that would be zero. Um, so it, then he goes, that would make for a gross salary of 14 or $15,000 a week, $288. Assuming you were taxed at 50%. Assuming you were taxed at 50%. Uh, that, you know, good for him. Kudos on the math there. Um, th this goes through the, the mean, various uh, marginal tax rates, but, um, so facts. Even if this were true, okay. People make seven twenty an hour now, and they don't have universal health care. So, like, they are still coming out ahead. I don't know if they'd come out. Fifty-two percent is pretty high, but I, we'll see. Yeah, I know. They, yeah, because it's only twenty over above. Yeah, I don't know. We're getting too into the Charlie right. Kirk bullshit. But the 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 bottom line is not a fact. Here is Charlie Kirk. Now, granted, this was three whole years ago uh, before Donald Trump became his master, uh, 
as president. This is back when he was an actually young conservative. Exactly. This is back when he was just a young pup trying to, wasn't sure yet where his money was coming from. And this is what he had to say on Fox Business. I guess it's good optics for Donald Trump. I don't understand how he thinks he's going to bring the party together when just, I think, what was it, a week ago, he was he publicly retweeted an image that went directly after the spouse of Senator Ted Cruz. I don't understand how he thinks he's going to bring the party together when in an interview with CNN, he keeps on calling Ted Cruz Lion Ted. I don't think that's exactly the uniter that you want. And look, last night, it was laughable, his appearance on Chris Matthews. Are you kidding me? This is the guy that's going to bring the party together that says women should be punished because they pursued an abortion. This guy is, is I think he's self-destructing in front of us. You see it in the polling in Wisconsin. You see it in the polling in California. I, I would say right now, it's a 50-50 chance that Donald Trump walks out of Cleveland with the nomination, John, John, and there's a lot of forces at B that are pushing back against it. John Lambert, you're with the... Uh, d- yeah, there you go. Charlie Kirk, um, that's a pretty big 180-degree turn. You're welcome on the show, though, Charlie. Yeah, I would love to have Charlie Kirk yeah. on the show. Tell, explain to us that 29% Explain non, to us marginal, marginal tax, tax rate. rate. Uh,